I'm Samantha Stanley with Washington Review. We're here at the printmaking event with the steamroller. Professor Hag is going to show us how it's done. I have held two uh, of these events here before, a long time ago, six years ago. For the um, class that I had at the time, it was large scale relief printing. This is just advanced relief printing, and it was at a large scale relief printing, was a summer class, uh, special topics. And we had two steamroller events with that. And like I said earlier, it was 117 degrees one of those days. That was quite the experience. Uh, then the following it would be spring semester. We did it again just once. And people liked it so much that a couple of the students got together, got a steamroller for themselves. They're about $200 a day. Did another one of their own accord and actually had a little show downstairs here. Actually a big show, because the pieces were huge. So uh, that was quite uh, fun with that. It was nice to have that kind of uh, inspiration. And I hope to do more, I mean, more often, maybe once or twice a year. But I do like to print my own. Uh, right now, the work that I'm doing is not conducive to uh, the steamroller. I need a lot more pressure from the press. But back then, I had a few large woodcuts that I, I did print. Uh, environmental control, pressure control, uh, you get a lot more uh, higher quality print on an etching press, um, which is what we use to pull our relief prints. Uh, the consistency uh, from print to print is much higher because the pressure is set to the micro inch. The weather, obviously we don't have to contend with that indoors. Um, there is a little bit of an issue with humidity change indoors, but that's, that's technical. Uh, as opposed to today, when we we're outside, we got wind, possibility of rain. Uh, fortunately, it's cool enough that it's not too bad. Even with the minute uh, lateral movement of the uh, steamroller, we might get a little bit of offset on the, uh, on the print. So far, the blocks have been small enough that we don't have to worry about that. But when Lexi comes and pulls her blocks, we'll have to really worry about that. We'll see how um, successful they are. We're not sure. I pulled uh, one of my students that first summer that we pulled it was a nine foot print. She had three uh, plexiglass sheets that she had uh, done some stuff to the surface. She put tape on and she did some cardboard. It's called um, a collotype. And that would be the largest um, in one run. Uh, Lexi's going to be right up there. Um, with uh, the largeness and, and most difficult. Mm hmm. Now we're going to do another one. They didn't call it a ghost. They didn't wait. That's good. actually dremeled my image out after transferring with acetone and in the press from an image that I pulled from about this size and originally and blew it up. Uh, it was a chemogram actually. I also had a silkscreen image from one of my older pieces from a few years ago, which you can't even tell it's in there. I think 
I could practice more and ink up better. Thank you for joining us at the Washburn Review for the Steamroll event.